So I want you to read this. Very important. And your textbook uh, talks a lot about this Kano school. We will continue Kano school in Edo period too. Um, and then, so who's going to hire Kano school of painters? Usually wealthy uh, politicians like a shogun or imperial family, right? Aristocratic family. And then the wealthy Buddhist temples can also hire them. So this is a meditation room uh, inside uh, temple, Daitokuji. We saw Daitokuji's garden, remember Zen garden, but this is their uh, central room where monks get together and eat together and then meditate together. So here, these are sliding doors and it's called the Fusuma. You will see these tons of Fusuma. On top of the Fusuma door, they painted pine trees. Here, it's not really a uh, cypress trees. These are pine trees, and you can see the cherry blossoms, cranes, uh, so landscape painting on the wall, part of architecture. Momoyama period, you also see an alternative to Kano school. Uh, they are called uh, Hasegawa school. Hasegawa school, instead of being really masculine, they become a little bit more poetic more colorful, right? And not only big tree, they also used some seasonal flowers as well. They rather a quiet and reserved aesthetic influenced by Sessu and Senno Ryukyu. So this is more suitable for, you would say, literary and intellectual samurais rather than like a politicians like this. Uh, so ha Toyotomi Hideyoshi, this is his official portraiture. Uh, he's uh, seated down and his head, it's, it's not as tall as uh, uh, the Kamakura people, right? So fashion changes certainly. Um, then he's a city, and then you see the background, like the mountains and waterfalls, so official land. But as I said, he's considered sort of a, an ugly and very short man, uh, but he had this hunger for power. This one is a Toyotomi Hideyoshi's portable golden tea chamber. So this is a collapsible. You see uh, installation. Uh, but when he travels, he spends a lot of time in the battlefield. So whenever he has a war campaign in the middle of nowhere, uh, his soldiers will carry this portable gold chamber, tea chamber, and then set it up so that he can enjoy tea ceremony. So by Muromachi period, uh, tea ceremony became a mainstream hobby for politicians, you know, warriors, and, and uh, aristocratic families. The reason it became really popular phenomenon is thanks to a man called Senno Rikyu. So Senno Rikyu is a tea master. He's originally from merchant class, uh, but he developed the art of tea making or art of tea drinking into a certain artistic form. He is shown as a sort of a Buddhist monk in this portraiture. Um, so his idea is going back to humble origins of tea drinking. So this is a small tea chamber designed by Senno Rikyu. So it's very small and you go in here uh, and then it's very ceremonial in a way. So guest of honor sits here, okay, the second important, third important, but you cannot put 10 people in it. It's very small. It's sort of a head to head. And this is one unit of a tadami mats. You have a one, two, three, four, meaning it's really small. You have like a water cabinet, you, you get the water. And then in the middle, you have a hearth or like a boil, you know, water boiling center. And then uh, there is a little corner, tokonoma. This is a display area. So you are going to put some sort of calligraphy or uh, flower, you know, for people to look at. So it's a conversation piece. Uh, over here, but nobody sits over here because Tokonoma, should, you know, this side should be wide open so that people can gaze to it, right? Uh, and then host too, uh, so nobody sits here. I wanted to read more about the tea ceremony that I made available in the discussion. With the popularity of tea ceremony, uh, there are a lot of uh, accessories that come with it. So, uh, Konami Koetsu is a ceramic artist. He made this tea bowl called Mount Fuji. Does this look like a mountain to you? You are not familiar with the Japanese culture, so uh, you, you probably don't know why, but uh, Mount Fuji is a volcanic island where uh, the top part is covered by snow all year round. So, it's a, 
uh, half white and half black, and a little bit of a green tone here and there. So uh, it's considered Mount Fuji embodied into a tea bowl. Uh, but what is important in Momoyama period that I want to explain is their taste for sarami is totally influenced by this wabi and sabi. So that's why I wanted to read more about wabi and sabi, as if it's not artificial, as if it is not really cultivated, as if this is a piece of uh, a lump of clay that you just got out of the out of the earth. It looks intentionally uh, rustic, meaning like sort of a boxy and country style, intentionally clumsy. I mean, of course, he can make a really beautiful teacup, but intentionally clumsy. Glazing um, is also not even. Like you have a little bit of glazing here, but there's no glaze on the other side. As if this is just a clay fired by fire kind of sense. They wanted to create something like, like this uh, unsophisticated uh, ones. So uh, for the tea room, you need this type of bowls. People admire their uh, ceramic bowls. So I want you to look at this Honami Koetsu and then Sotatsu, uh, Tawaraya Sotatsu. These are uh, important artists, uh, sort of graphic designers uh, of Momoyama period, but continuously they worked uh, in uh, Edo period as well. They eventually influenced the creation of Limpasco. I want you to remember this name, and we are going to talk more about the Limpasco in Edo period. Do you recognize this? The God of Thunder and God of Wind that we studied in Kamakura period. So uh, the famous sculpture uh, that we've seen in Kamakura period uh, in Sanju Sangendo Temple in Kyoto was made into a gold screen painting by Tawaraya Sotatsu. And they preserved their cultural artifacts so well, so early as, let's say, 1600s or so, uh, we have uh, kimono remaining from that period. Um, so this is called kosode, meaning sleeves are short. If you wear it, you will have, uh, it will come shortly below your elbows. So you have your arms. So uh, it, it's short. In order to have a long sleeve, you will have like a long sleeve like this. Kosode um, is more for garment under the formal kimono. And anyhow, it has a geometric patterns of a plant and cranes. Uh, and the, they are painted. So that's uh, the end of Momoyama period. So, uh, you know, study Momoyama and uh, Muromachi and Momoyama period. And then a lot of artistic uh, traditions will uh, remain influential in Edo period as well. So this is our unit five. Thank you.